Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Don't Starve, continuing our playthrough with WX78, I think is actually his name. And it's actually getting dark out, so let's prep for nighttime. Oh shit, we have no logs. Okay, so, uh, priority numero uno, getting ourselves some logs. Though we can make a torch. How many torches can we afford right now? We can make a bunch of torches, so if we need to, we can torch this place up, baby. Um... Lumpy. I just want to know what he was going to say. I actually enjoy the way he speaks, just because it's so, well, robotic, obviously. Alright, some trees. Let's go ahead and chop some of these suckers down. We should have plenty of time to get a campfire up now that we found some trees really early on. Our axe is going down very quickly. Nice. Can't really see shit because of the way these trees are laid out, but that should be no problem as soon as we get them all knocked down. Let's grab these puppies. This is a very thick forest. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, grab it. We can make... Uh, we can chop down one more tree. This is a fucking humongous forest, so... I'm gonna take advantage of this at the, at the opportunity... At the next given opportunity, and, um... Maybe just chop down a bunch of trees. This looks like a good place to throw it on a campfire. Right here. Right at the side of the road. What do we got? Let's pick up some twigs keep on chopping we've got time a lot of uh, the 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 brick road I think I'm gonna try and follow when the morning swings around for now I don't like I said I don't think I'm gonna put down a permanent campsite until I find out where the pig king is living If we can build near the pig king we can make a, a lot better as far as gold is concerned and so on and so forth so that's what I'm gonna do um do I want to chop down another tree yeah we can it's a mini glacier a very isolated glacier. I wouldn't necessarily call that a glacier, to be honest. Alright, let's see if we can get this other tree chopped down before the nighttime falls. Alright, well, never mind. Let's go ahead and plop down the campfire. And perfect timing. Let's get another axe up. We might be able to actually chop this sucker down. It's within our fire's range. Perfect. That actually replaced all the fire we ended up using, or the logs we ended up using. Fire level low. Let's see what he says when we have it, like, crazy out of control. It reminds me of something. Alright, I don't... Um, that's... I don't get it. Oh, well. Chop down these tree here. Make do with everything we can. The, the trudges of living as a robot trying to survive in a forest. So sad. So very sad. One more. Oh no. So we get hurt by rain, right? Yeah, we do. It's not much. It's like one. We're not. Uh, I'm hungry. I'm not getting hurt much. Um, is there any way I can make like an umbrella? Posh and portable protection, which doesn't do shit, so we need this. We need spider webs and a pig ass. An unfortunate need. Ooh, it's thunderstorming too. I think I heard thunder. Well, if I get struck by lightning, that's a good thing, right? It, like, charges me up or something. Sparking! This is not good! I wonder if my rain's gonna go low. I mean, if the rain's gonna bring my, uh, my fire down. Hopefully not too, not too much. We should have plenty of time, though. Come on, sun. Here comes the sun, pretty darling. Here comes the sun. Okay, let's get out of here. We can follow this road to wherever it's going. If we're lucky, the rain will stop. It's actually raining pretty hard. Actually, let's, uh bust the sucker down. Well, it is lightning lightning striking. If we get struck by lightning, that'll be good, right? Let's grab all the gold that we can. We might as well. Oh wow, seven gold. Have I had that much gold, really? Did I mine gold last episode? I feel like I must have. I'm just a diddly dang. A doom dang diddler. Okay, I'm stupid. 
Perfection! Let's move on. Can we not be getting hit by this anymore? That would be awesome. Rain, rain, go away. Oh, Chester! That's early to get Chester. Awesome. Hey, buddy! What's up? Come on. We're going for an adventure. We're going to follow the road to wherever it leads. If only I could, like... If only I could hide under the tree. It's not working. Okay, strike me with lightning, then. I'm fine with that. Mm-mm. Delicious. Take some more berries. Are they not? It's not gonna strike me with lightning, is it? I'm in an open field! Perfect chance to strike! Why is my, uh, sanity so far down? We need some blue mushrooms. Blue mushrooms will help. Yeah, no shit, dude. Blue mushrooms will help our health out a bit. Alright, this is all very much a dead end, isn't it? So let's head back down this way. Oh, Jesus. We can actually eat these. Just to gain a little health back. Ah, uh, come on. Let's just finish chopping this down. Just freaking come on! You know, like, seriously, it's still raining out. It's crazy. I'm gonna die on the first day just to rain, and I can't... I don't have an umbrella research, so maybe setting up a perma camp is gonna be a bit more important than I initially anticipated. Annoying. Absolutely annoying. Oh god, here we are. Let's see if I can just... unbuy them all. Come on, Chester! Get out of there, man! Whoa. Oh, honey and stuff. Alright. Get out of there, Chester. Come on, Chester! Come on. Come on, Chester. Let's go. Get out of there, man. Just run. It's not worth it. All they want to do is hurt you, man. It's not worth it. Really? Still? Get out of here. You dumbasses. Not even cool. Mechanisms are freezing? What? Night approaching. I'm so I'm, I'm cold? Fuck. Alright, let's see if we can pop a fire down then. Alright, we're warming up. There we go. So I'm starting, I was starting to freeze there. I am literally dying from just rain. This thing has practically killed me. I don't have spider webs. Nothing. Holy crap, that was awful. Like the game was just straight up going to kill me. No mercy. I'm just trying to get my freaking health back up at this point. Jesus. Oh no! I'm very sorry for disturbing you. I don't want to be bothered. You know what? Let him go. Let him go. I should make my house elsewhere. Come on. Just eating flowers. I'm that desperate for health. I'm just picking flowers and chomping on them. Good thing I'm not a picky eater. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Delicious. Oh, fuck. Come on, Jester. Come on, let's go. Gotta get away. Nobody likes us, nobody wants us. We're unwanted and unloved. This is awful. What the hell? Why is there weird, like, wet spots? Underground tunnel network has collapsed. Have I been over here? It doesn't look like it. I don't understand why all these are like collapsed and uh, like random wet spots everywhere. I feel like we've come across more collapsed holes than actual like useful things. 
If we can find some blue mushrooms, we'll be good. But we're running out of time. Birch trees. Alright, flowers. Worth it. Let's go ahead and grab this flower over here. Chomp down on these suckers for a while. A day of running around and being panicked. That is what today was. I'm tempted to just slap down my stuff, like, here. I'm thinking we're gonna. Though birch trees are a little bit worrisome. Can honey heal me? Yes, it does. I'll give it one more day of exploration before we set something up. One more day. And then we'll start looking to set up a permanent campsite. I can eat ice. It heals me. Let's take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mechanism of freezing. Just stay here. You'll be good. You got brain freeze, bro. Happens to the best of us. Wouldn't let it bother you. Alright, just grabbing this little berry bush. Delicious. I don't know what it reminds you of, buddy, but... Either way, whatever makes you happy. Just kind of gathering what I can. Might as well make do with the night. Not going to get attacked. No, thank you. Come on, daytime. Make it rain, baby. Or, no, not rain. No, no, no. You know what I mean. Just give me all kinds of good stuff, is what I meant. Don't make it rain. That would be just suboptimal in all the right way, wrong ways. This is just gonna hurt, so I'm not gonna eat that. Though it's tempting. Chester, I hope you're doing alright, pal. You're a good guy. You're always with me, no matter what. Come on, day two. Come to a close, baby. I'm ready to explore. And ignore these birch trees that are probably going to murder me if I touch them in the wrong way. Or the right way. Mwah, ha, ha. So sorry. All right, let's go, Chester. We got shit to do, buddy. Some more flint. Sorry there, Mister. Mister Mole, going for that, I'm sure. Uh, actually, well, we don't have a friggin' shovel, so never mind. It's like that's a blue mushroom right there. We could dig that up and make use of it, but no, no, we cannot. Friggin' mole took it. Heal up. All the way. Am I guy making little clanky noises as he walks? That's adorable. I think I just, I've just heard it. It's very quiet. It's very subtle. But if you listen, you can hear him doing it. We're not coming across anything useful, it looks like. I would like to find, like, some rocks or something so I can get ready to build, uh... Let's see. Get ready to build a permanent campfire. That would be optimal. I know where there are rocks are way back, but I just don't want to go way back if I don't have to. Unless it's in the way back machine, then that's fine. I wouldn't mind visiting the past. I can tell myself not to play as Weber and die in the middle of the night. Alright, some more flowers which we're going to chow down on. Good enough. I feel like we're running into a lot of water. Like this place is very much sectioned off. It is. A whole lot of sectioned off areas so far in this world. Only one direction I've been able to go regularly without running into anything, and we turned around and went the other way. That could have been a mistake. But, too late now. We can make our way back. That might be our best option, is to go back and swing back to the east and see what we can come across. It looks like we're not really going to have much of a choice, all honesty. 
in all honesty. North, I don't think actually leads anywhere. Grab these berries all we can. Right now I just need some stone, so I should kind of be focusing on that. Yeah, see? More water. It's insane how much water there is in this freaking... Our health is almost there. Repairing all the damage the stupid rain did. Alright, let's follow the road again. I just want to get some stone and we'll set up a permanent camp wherever we end up uh, finding a safe spot, I guess. Let's go ahead and equip this and get ready for it. We just need two more rocks anyway. It's not like we need much. The stones up here, maybe? Alright, that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go north next. But we need stones first. Yep, yeah, right here. Perfect. Yes, night is approaching. Got some nitrate, which. Night nitri, or whatever the hell that is. Doesn't really do us too much good. We got time. Let's grab one more. Let's start heading north. See how far we can get before we need to slap down our fire. Yep, he is making little dinkly dang noises. When he's on the road, you can hear it a little bit better because he's not walking on, like, grass and stuff. So, birch trees, which I'd prefer to avoid. I don't want to kind of camp in a, perch, uh, a birch tree area. Interesting. Alright, here's the thing with this. We're near a chessboard. It could be very, very dangerous for us. But at the same time, it could be very worth it for us. Because they, I think he's going to drop gear. So we're going to build a pit fire here. And we're going to get everything we need set, started to be set up. We're building... I'm building kind of a risky place. There's no doubt about it. But I think it'll end up being worth it, all told. So we need to get ourselves uh, um, some rope so we can build ourselves a weapon. And let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can make happen here. Okay. Oh, we're actually right near the exit. Oh, no, don't want that thing. Oh, we pissed off everything. Oh, we pissed off the world, everybody. Oh, shit. Well, he killed the thing I was trying to kill. And I can actually eat gears now. That was the goal. So we actually can use him against them. Woo! Okay, this actually heals me. Um, we'll save this for morning. I don't know what the gears are going to do outside of that, so I don't want to eat it until... We're done. Endothermite fire could be useful. More importantly, I need a chest, so we need to make three little planks. And we need to do this, actually. Not quite enough. We can also drop this here. Leave Chester here. And we'll chop down some wood here. We have lots of space to make it happen. Wait. He said thanks for the protection. You would think that I'm not getting wet if that was the case, but apparently that's a lie. Uh, go ahead and plant this. Sure, get rid of that. Grab this. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, make one more. That should be enough to get ourselves a chest, which we do need. Alright, we're gonna wrap this episode up here. A pretty productive one. I'm hoping the rain stops soon so it doesn't end up killing us. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying it, come back tomorrow for some more Don't Starve. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.